What's going on guys, David here with you and today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, dryer exhaust and thermal fuses and some of the issues that causes these things to blow. But uh, if you ain't already uh, followed my Instagram page, I recommend you to do that uh, because we, um, I, <laughs> I have a lot of different quick tips and things that I post up on that, so go ahead and check that out. Let me get this camera thing right. And you can also go check that out if you go to my main page there on YouTube. You can click on the uh, Instagram symbol and go ahead and follow my page. And if you don't have Instagram, I recommend you get one. Just to the fact that I will be posting up some good quick tips on them as I go throughout the day, but I still will be putting up great content on YouTube as always. But yeah, check that out. So I was just on a customer's house and the thermal fuse was blown. So uh, I, on this particular one, the thermal fuse was actually in the front setting on the side of the blower housing. I'll have a picture in it. You can see that. Alright guys, I wanted to show y'all here, see this exhaust vent is way too long for this thing. There's no need for it to be this long like this. This is what's causing that thermal fuse to keep blowing in this thing. No need for all that. And another thing that I noticed was the exhaust was super long in the back. And there was no need for it to be that long of an exhaust. And that can also cause an issue for a thermal fuse to blow. So, number one thing, you pull up to a customer's house and the dryer won't start. Uh, you've either got to the back or you've got to the front of the unit and you was able to determine that it was a thermal fuse. I want you to check a couple things before you leave out of the house. One, you want to make sure that the element's not grounded because a grounded element will stay running all the time, which will blow a thermal fuse. Okay, the second thing you need to check especially if the thermal fuse is setting up front like in the picture I'm going to show you you will be able to remove that uh, panel that sets on floor on the, that sets on front of the blower housing you want to pull that off and clean that out and that's where the lint filter sets down in make sure there's no restrictions there second thing the second or third thing is to you know check the length of the exhaust the next thing you want to do is once you get that thermal fuse on you want to turn that dryer on and you want to be able to check the airflow that's coming out of that exhaust now there are some houses well a lot of houses where the exhaust runs straight up through the roof so if an exhaust runs straight up through the roof this is where I recommend you uh, getting a temperature sensor and I don't mean the little uh, laser one that you can point and, te and test temperature I want you to get the one that you can plug into a meter and it's got the little uh, you know the little tail on it to where you can stick it in that dryer and I want you to watch those temperatures now you can also tell if the exhaust is clogged because what will happen is is that uh, thermostat it'll kick on and kick off real fast it'll open and it'll close real fast and you can listen to that clicking like that but the best thing to do is to uh, get uh, get you a temp probe stick in there and collect the temps on it and what will happen is if that exhaust is clogged that thing will get real hot real fast the dryer will get hot the tub will get super hot and that lets you know that that's a uh, clogged up dryer exhaust vent that's running up through the roof because you know I don't get on roofs and check them neither so the best thing to do is just watch that temp if that temp climbs real fast and you can hear that thermostat you know cutting on and off real fast well, that lets you know that they need to get that exhaust clean and what I do is is I tell them that hey I will not be able to warranty this thermal fuse until you get this dryer exhaust vent cleaned out. Now, you know, if you're able to check the airflow out of it, you know, if it's running out through the wall, running out through the house, and you're able to check it and you know it's clogged, it still goes for the same. Because as of right now, I'm not doing uh, dryer vent cleaning. So, I mean, as far as exhaust cleaning goes. But that's a quick tip there. I wanted to give you on thermal fuses. Um, 
you know, like I said, uh, I've, you know, in, in the, the Maytag dryers, the ones that have the two belts on them, the one belt that goes on uh, the motor and turns the tub, and then you got another belt that goes on the motor, and it actually uh, goes around a pulley nut that actually turns the uh, blower motor. A lot of times, um, I may have a picture of one, if, if I don't have it in this video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. That blower housing can get clogged up full of stuff too. So, these are the main things that you need to check. Make sure there's no restrictions as far as uh, the kind of dryer that you're dealing with. Make sure there's no restrictions where the lint filter goes into, pull that housing out. Uh, you want to make sure that the exhaust that hooks to the back of the dryer that goes to the wall make sure it's not super long curled up or kinked and then you want to be able to check the airflow that's coming uh, the, that's running through the house and make sure that it's not clogged all right guys this is david with a quick tip on thermal fuses being blown and also check your uh, uh your um, heating element to make sure it's not grounded i got a video on how to do that well, this is David with DC Appliance Repair. Again, go ahead and uh, follow my Instagram. I'll have great stuff on there. I haven't been on there in a while, but now I'm starting to post more stuff up. And I appreciate you guys for all my subscribers, all my followers, everybody that likes and comments. I appreciate you guys. This is what supports my channel. So hit that like button, leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.